seated. You can put your books and things away. <clears throat> Go into a deep meditation in your heart. Go to the secret chamber of the heart. Kneel before the Lord of the world, Gautama Buddha, before your holy Christ self and Jesus Christ. In the name of the light of God that never fails, I call forth the light of Alpha and Omega, Helios and Vesta, the mighty I am presence of every light bearer upon earth, and all who shall receive this teaching. Praise the power of Almighty God. Praise the power of Almighty God. Praise the power of Almighty God. Beloved Alpha and Omega, beloved Helios and Vesta, we come as supplicants before the throne of grace. We call upon the law of forgiveness for all sin whereby we have sinned, using our soul as the instrument of that sin, and therefore defiling that soul, and therefore allowing that soul to be naked, to be unprotected, to hide in the garden at the coming of the footsteps of Lord Maitreya. We call for the restoration of the soul in cosmic Christ purity. In the name Jesus Christ, I command the soul of each one, rise in this hour and enter now the secret chamber of the heart. Kneel now before your Lord, your holy Christ self and beloved Jesus. And in humble and contrite words of love and prayer and calling upon the law of forgiveness, do thou now, O soul of mine, enter into cosmic Christ love. Offer thyself in the fullness of sacrifice, surrender, selflessness and service. Enter in now. Enter into the perfect love of the city four square and the ruby ray. I call for that mighty action of the Lord God Almighty. I ask for the great central sun magnet and for the power of the Elohim of peace to open the way for the restoration of all that we are and all that we have ever been. We call for the soul to be the mirror of our causal body and our I am presence and our holy Christ self, that in these veils of flesh, in these levels of consciousness, that soul might be a beacon for many other souls and an example that many might know the restoration and the retrieval. Therefore, in God's holy name, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother, we seal our soul in our entire consciousness, being, and world in this mighty tube of light. Let us take out our books now. Decree books 0 0.01. Now we will keep our decree books out till the end of the soul retrieval ritual. Please stand for our tube of light. We will give it three times. I ask you to observe and release fire from your heart. Fire begets fire. The fire of your heart will magnetize the fire of the great central sun magnet together. Oh, my constant loving I am presence, thou light of God above me, whose radiance forms a circle of fire before me to light my way. I am faithfully calling to thee to place a great pillar of light from my own mighty I am God presence all around me right now today. Keep it intact through every passing moment, manifesting as a shimmering shower of God's beautiful light through which nothing human can ever pass into this beautiful electric circle of divinely charged energy. Direct the swift up surge of the violet fire of freedom's forgiving, transmuting flame. 
Cause the ever-expanding energy of this plane projected downward into the force field of my human energies to completely change every negative condition into the positive polarity of my own great God self. Let the magic of its mercy so purify my world with light that all whom I contact shall always be blessed with a fragrance of violets from God's own heart. In memory of the blessed dawning day when all this poor cause, effect, record, and memory is forever changed into the victory of light and the peace of the ascended Jesus Christ. I am now constantly accepting the full power and manifestation of this fiat of light and calling it into instantaneous action by my own God-given free will and the power to accelerate without limit this sacred release of assistance from God's own heart until all men are ascended and God free in the light that never, never, never fails. down and I would like to have the microphone in front of me it will be of some assistance since I'm leading this we're going to give the decree to the great sun disk I ask you to close your eyes and visualize a great disk and it is the blazing yellow fire, golden fire, sun of Helios and Vesta, and the great central sun. We visualize that fiery white shield, a brilliant dazzling piece of armor, giant platter over the solar plexus. So set your mind in this visualization, close your eyes and see it. What you see, you will manifest. You will place your hands over your solar plexus, place of the sun, visualize a blazing fiery white shield like a brilliant dazzling piece of armor, a giant platter. This is for the protection of your solar plexus so that when darts are flying, crisscrossing in your midst, you are unmoved. Decree 0 0.02, great sun disk together. Beloved mighty I am presence, beloved holy Christ self, and beloved Jesus the Christ, blaze your dazzling light of a thousand suns in and around my four lower bodies, 
as a mighty guard in action of the light of God that he never fails to protect the peaceful outpicturing of God's plan to my every thought, word, and deed. Place your great sun disc over my solar plexus as a mighty shield of armor that shall instantaneously deflect all discord whatsoever that may ever be directed against me or the light for which I stand. I now call in the name of my mighty I am presence to the Elohim of peace to release throughout my being and world the necessary action of the mighty flame of cosmic Christ peace that shall sustain in me the Christ consciousness at all times so that I may never be found engaged in a release of misqualified energy to any part of life whether it be fear, malice, smile, dislike, mistrust, censure, or disdain. I call the beloved Saint Germain to seize all energy which I have ever released against my brethren and which has caused them any form of discomfort whatsoever. And in the name of my mighty I am brethren, I command that that energy be removed from their world, call the vector record and memory and transmuted by the violet flame into the purity and perfection that is the sacred fire essence of God that the earth and all elemental life might be cut free forever from human creation and given their eternal victory in the light. I accept this done right now with full power. I am this done right now with full power. I am, I am, I am God, life expressing perfection always at all times. This which I call forth for myself, I call forth for every man, woman, and child on this planet. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. Oh, disc of light from heaven's height, descend with all your perfection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light of the master's love and protection. Oh, disc of light from heaven's height, descend with all your perfection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light of the master's love and protection. Oh, disc of light from heaven's height, descend with all your perfection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light of the master's love and protection. Oh, disc of light from heaven's height, descend with all your perfection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light of the master's love and protection. O oh, disc of light from heaven's I descend with all your protection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light and the master's love and protection. O oh, disc of light from heaven's I descend with all your protection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light and the master's love and protection. O oh, disc of light from heaven's I descend with all your protection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light and the master's love and protection. O oh, disc of light from heaven's I descend with all your protection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light of the master's love and protection. O oh, disc of light from heaven's I descend with all your protection. Make my aura bright with freedom's light of the master's love and protection. Decree 002A. Mighty Elohim of peace, we call to you now to pour out the radiant golden oil of peace. The radiant golden oil of peace is for the bathing, the caressing, and the loving of the soul who feels stripped of the fullness of her identity. It is a blessing and an, and an anointing of the soul by the Elohim of peace. Together. Beloved mighty presence of God, I am in me, and beloved Elohim of peace, from the zenith of the heavens pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world, to the 360 degrees of the circumference of my being that extends to the borders of time and eternity. Fill the circle of my world and the worlds of all children of light with such an effulgent light and love as is the manifest power of the Elohim of peace that no dissonance or any other variant of peace can manifest where I am in the heart of peace. Beloved Elohim of peace, from the zenith of the heavens, pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world. Beloved Elohim of peace, from the zenith of the heavens, pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world. Beloved Elohim of peace, from the zenith of the heavens, pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world. Beloved Elohim of peace, from the zenith of the heavens, Pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world. Beloved Elohim of peace from the zenith of the heavens, pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world. Beloved Elohim of peace from the zenith of the heavens, pour out the radiant golden oil of peace under the horizon of my world. Beloved Elohim of peace from the zenith of the heavens, pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world. Beloved Elohim of peace from the zenith of the heavens, pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world. Beloved Elohim of peace from the zenith of the heavens, pour out the radiant golden oil of peace unto the horizon of my world. The path of the Elohim of peace. 
At the beginning of this is the mantra, enough, I have done with my human creation and I choose to enter the path of the Elohim of peace. That is a vow we make before God, establishing peace through the mighty aura of the Elohim peace and aloha. Because this is a vow we will stand as we get it. We make vows to God. We unwittingly and unthinkingly break them. This does not make you a miserable sinner. You have an altar. You have an altar of the heart. You have the altar that is the portable altar. You have whatever altars you have set up in your home that have the I am presence and the masters. So you quickly go to the altar as soon as you have recognized it. Call on the law of forgiveness. Decree for 15 minutes, a half hour, and be done with it. As long as you condemn yourself, you are outside of the circle of God. This is what the Holy Spirit, the Mahajohan, wants me to tell you in this very moment. If you are in a state of self-condemnation, you have put yourself outside the circle of God. If you have all kinds of things that you condemn yourself for, go to the altar, confess them all. If you do it again, go to the altar, confess them all. Get some therapy, look at your psychology, look at your astrology, look at your background, your childhood, your parents, your this, your that, your karma. Do it all over again. Call on the law of forgiveness every time you condemn yourself. And then you'll be able to jump right back into the circle of God. God forgives you even before you ask him for forgiveness. Together. Enough! I have had done with my human creation, and I choose to enter the path of the Elohim of peace. I choose to now receive the original endowment of peace that Elohim peace gave upon the founding of this organization. I shall become that coin of peace to which every angel ministering on earth shall have recourse. Yes, in my heart the flame of peace shall abide. Therefore I shall be unmoved. I shall not be moved by what does transpire anywhere outside the circle of my being or within it. This day I have said, enough is enough. I am the victim of my own wrong desiring. I am the victim of my abuse of my four lower bodies. I am the victim of my karma. And this day I say, I shall no longer be the victim of myself, but I shall be the instrument of God. I shall walk out from this court of King Arthur, and I shall keep my vow to keep my counsel, keep my peace, keep the sealing of my words, and to control the flashing forth of dark thought or feeling, and the revolving of negative spirals of the memory. I can do all of this, for I am the child of the heart of El Moria, my beloved. I can do all of this, because my God is with me. I have a path. I have my Maitreya, I have a messenger whom I can see and touch and who will love me and comfort me and help me and rebuke me and lead me. Yes, I am in the best possible position that my karma allows me to be in. For I know there is no injustice anywhere in the universe and I am truly convinced that there is mercy beyond mercy that I have this opportunity this day to remake myself by the power of Elohim in the image and likeness of Almighty God, by the power of the word with Brahman in the beginning. Yes, I will work with Elohim of peace, and I know that because God sent Elohim to endow this activity, that this activity is sponsored from the Elohimic level, and all the power of Elohim is upon me, and the mighty chalice of the resurrection flame in the heart of the inner retreat. Yes, I shall take the dispensations of Elohim, for they are power in the seven rays. They are the power of Alpha and Omega. And I shall remake myself, that I might carry the spiral of the next 33 years of this activity, until the Summit Lighthouse transcends the octaves here below, as above, and its beams shed their powerful light into the depths of death and hell so that souls caught in those levels may follow the beam to the heart of their I Am Presence 
and receive the Archangel's deliverance. Yes, I will walk in the living flame of peace. I shall be a true pilgrim of peace, and I shall show the two-edged sword, dividing the real from the unreal, binding the energies and elements of war. Yes, I know the meaning of true peace, and I know it is not pacifism. I know that the power of peace will swallow up the records of war upon this planet as I take the mantra. Peace be still and know that I am God. Peace be still and know that I am God. Peace be still and know that I am God. Peace be still and know that I am God. Enough! I have had done with my human creation, and I choose to enter the path of the Elohim of peace. Yes, I will walk in the living flame of peace. I shall be a true pilgrim of peace, and I shall show the two-edged sword, dividing the real from the unreal, binding the engines and elements of war. Peace be still and know that I am God. Peace be still and know that I am God. Peace be still and know that I am God. Peace be still and know that I am God. Please be seated. Decree 0 0.03, Mighty Cosmos, Secret Rays. This decree brings us to the heart, to the feet, to the mind of the five Dhyani Buddhas. Visualize Mighty Cosmos, Secret Rays, like fiery white needles. These fiery white needles are captured in the quartz crystal. Any size quartz will do, but keep a focus of this quartz so that you will have a physical focus of mighty cosmos secret rays on your altar. When you shall have done this work sufficiently, this work on soul retrieval, the needles, the fiery white needles, will go forth from your I am presence and your holy Christ self and your heart chakra. There is no limitation to your advancement on the path. Anyone from the least unto the greatest can experience phenomena in God. These needles will go forth from your I am presence, your holy Christ self, and your heart chakra. They will shoot right to the place a billion miles away where a single fragment of your soul is and bring it right back to your heart, just like that. But you have to be ready for it. You need a momentum with mighty cosmos, especially until the day and the hour when your soul and your heart are whole. You have to be ready to say, I will guard the peace. I will guard the fragments that are being restored to me by the resurrection flame, by the transfiguration flame. Little by little, as you keep peace in your world, God will answer your call, maybe today, tomorrow, weeks or months from now. For God is testing you. You are grateful you are worthy to be tested. And he must test you for you must prove yourself. We must all prove ourselves, not just once, but every day. There's not just one final exam. You might say there's a final exam at the end of the day, when you turn out your light and prepare for your service. Decree 0 0.03, Mighty Cosmos Secret Maze. <clears throat> together. In the name I am that I am, Elohim, Saint Germain, Portia, Guru Mahal, and Elo, Padma, Sambhava, Kwan Yin, and the Five Dhyani Buddhas. In the name I am that I am, the Son of Kumara, and Gautama Buddha, Lord Maitreya, Jesus Christ. Om Vairoshana Akshobhya, Ratma Sambhava, Amitabha, Amoga Siddhi, Vajra Sattva, Om. In the name of the beloved, mighty, victorious, presence of God, I am in me, my very own, beloved, holy Christ self, holy Christ self of all mankind. Beloved, he who sent us down the great central sun magnet. Beloved God, harmony, beloved, mighty cosmos, beloved, the entire spirit of the great white God in the world, mother, elemental life, 
fire, air, water, and earth, I decree. Mighty God, the thing and raise, mighty God, the thing and raise, mighty God, the thing and raise, and the lighter me away, and the lighter me away, and the lighter me away. Mighty God, the thing and raise, 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 mighty God, the th
which blesses and heals, illumines and seals me and all mankind in the victory of the ascension and the light. Beloved I am, beloved I am, beloved I am. I ask you to stand and give your calls to Mighty Victory and we will sing 554 to Mighty Victory.
you now to visualize rings of yellow fire. Place these rings of yellow fire around you in every dimension, at all angles to each other, so that this becomes a sphere of crisscrossing rings of yellow fire. These are bands of the light, energy, and consciousness of mighty victory and of our lineage. We have a lineage by the grace of Padma Sambhava from our hearts to the heart of Sanat Kumara. 
It is through the heart of Padma Sambhava that we receive our initiations, the perfecting of our souls. And not until we achieve this do we graduate to the place of being a Chila of Jesus Christ. So Padma Sambhava is the Buddha of the age, born in the 8th century. And he leads us to the sacred heart of Jesus. Jesus then brings us to his teacher, Lord Maitreya. Maitreya brings us to Gautama Buddha. Gautama Buddha brings us to Sana Kumara. <clears throat> because we have the mantle of the Great White Brotherhood, we have a continuity from where we sit right now all the way back to the heart of God. This is a great blessing for which we are all most humbly grateful. Now see these bands expanding and expanding, intensifying, thickening. You will be touching the fragments of your soul that are as far away as you can extend your visualization. Keep extending it and extending it. But these bands become wider and wider until they are embracing the matter cosmos. Now we take decree 005. I am alert, awake. This affirmation reminds us that we have to be alert to see to it that no portion of our soul will ever be stolen from us, robbed from us, raped, shamed, demeaned, brutalized, murdered. This is what we owe our souls. So our words are not just words, they are commitments, they are vows, they are promises we make to the masters who give us these decrees that are so scientific. <clears throat> Together. I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake. Come right now and shake, shake my mental body's grip, remove the ash and feed it all. Give me Christ's line for which I call. Fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing, God's of light is raising, 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 all my thoughts, prejudice too, to the plane my presence too, in God's name releases all, wisdom and bounds for which I call. I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, come right now and shake, shake my mental body, good, remove the ass and feed it all, give me Christ's line for which I call. Fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing. Fire, fire, blazing. God's of light is raising, raising, raising all my thoughts, hundreds too, to the plane of my presence too. In God's name releases all wisdom and bounds for which I call. I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake. Come right now and shake, shake my mental body's grips. <clears throat> violet fire blazing, violet fire blazing, violet fire blazing. God's of light is raising, raising, raising all my thoughts, hundreds too, to the plane of my presence too. In God's name releases all wisdom and bounds for which I call. I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake. Come right now and shake, shake my mental body's ribs, renew the essence, get it all. Give me Christ's mind for which I call. Violet fire blazing, violet fire blazing, violet fire blazing. God's of light is raising, raising, raising all my thoughts, consciousness too, to the plane of my presence too. In God's name releases all wisdom and bounds for which I call. I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake. Come right now and shake, shake my mental body's ribs, remove the ash and feed it all. Give me Christ's mind for which I call. Violet fire blazing, violet fire blazing, violet fire blazing. God's own light is raising, raising, raising all my thoughts, consciousness too, to the plane of my presence too. In God's name releases all wisdom and balance for which I call. I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake. Come right now and shake, shake my mental body's grip, remove the ash and feed it all. Give me Christ's line for which I call. Fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing. God's own light is raising, raising, raising all my thoughts, consciousness too. In God's name, releases all wisdom and bounds for which I call. 
I am a little wake awake, I am a little wake awake, I am a little wake awake. Come right now and shake, shake my metal body's goods, remove the S and treat it all. Give me Christ's line, the which I call. Fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing. God's of light is raising, raising, raising all my thoughts, come to the truth, to the plane of my presence too. In God's name releases all wisdom and bounds to which I call. I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake. Come right now and shake, shake our metal body straight, remove the ass and feed it all. Give me Christ's sign, for which I call. Violet fire blazing, violet fire blazing, violet fire blazing. God's own light is raising, raising, raising all my thoughts, consciousness too, to the plane of my presence too. In God's name releases all wisdom and balance for which I call. I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake, I am alert, awake, awake. Come right now and shake, shake my metal body's grip, remove the ass and feed it all. Give me Christ's mind for which I call. Fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing, fire, fire, blazing. God's own light is raising, raising, raising all my thoughts, conscience too, to the plane of my presence too. In God's name releases all wisdom and else for which I call. The all-consuming fire of Zarathustra will assist us to purge the soul, purge the heart, that the fire might leap to that point in the universe where a fragment of yourself is locked. Decree 0 0.06. <clears throat> this is a decree, one of many decrees, that increases the fire, the balance, the love of the heart. Without love, there is no forgiveness, no mercy. The love of the heart your intense love of God and the love of your own soul will magnetize that, that soul back to you. Let us say together, let God be magnified. 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 <clears throat> Together. Almighty oh, Dream, all claim of light, now gift of God so pure. Take my thoughts and energy and make them all secure. Under bond of brotherhood and understanding there. Send me forth unto my soul the gift of holy prayer. Communication strands of love, how they will by heaven's law. A tender blessing for the good, releasing holy all. That draws me near the throne of grace, to now behold thy sacred face. And without fear dispense aright the passion of pure God delight. Which set me free from all that's been the sinful nature of all men. Christ raised me to self-mastery, the living passion of the free. Determination now arise and lift me ever to the skies. I am, I am, I am, enfolding life and meaning all. With the God command on them that shatters human call. I am, I am, I am, the free no one who told me that. I am the fullness of love's law, supplying every lack. And consecration in full measure is my will and God's own pleasure. Saint Germain and Jesus dear, hold my hand with Moria's here. And let the love of Mary then be the wings to raise all men. Until they all unite in love to serve that purpose from above that comes to earth at any hour, responding to the call of power. Send thy shining wisdom, then let his God's love expand it for all men. I thank thee and I accept this sun right now with full power. I am this sun right now with full power. This is the full manifestation of the law of love that raises me to my eternal victory now and forever. in soul retrieval in the heart. And so, in this hour, Astraea is matching your visualization of the circles of yellow fire with a circle of blue flame and white fire, reinforcing the yellow. See Astraea doing this around you personally. Expand it to the community, the hemisphere, the planet. Meditate without distraction.
keep that in consciousness surrounding your body and we will continue continue with beloved Cusco decree 0 0.07 I am a son of God <clears throat> Cusco establishes our worthiness to be the son of God and therefore our worthiness to retrieve the elements of our soul the soul is what the forces of evil have continually waged war against so that the soul is so dysfunctional that she feels she has no self-worth. Let us erase that. Turn it aside. We will not accept anything but the beautiful soul that we are, that is within us, the beautiful soul that has majesty and dignity and honor and compassion and kindness, fully balanced, fully balanced in all of her being, T truly and totally loved by us, embraced by us, caressed, rocked, and cradled by us. <clears throat> Decree to Cusco, I am a son of God. Together. I am a son of God. This day I am charging the substance within my heart that is mine to command with the flame of love from the hand of Almighty God. I send it forth from my being everywhere in all directions to perform the perfect work of God and to return me with all the divine love which I am sending forth. I am a son of God. This day I am charging the substance within my heart that is mine to command with a flame of love from the hand of Almighty God. I send it forth from my being everywhere in all directions to perform the perfect work of God and to return to me with all the divine love which I am sending forth. I am a son of God. This day I am charging the substance within my heart that is mine to command with a flame from the hand of I send it forth from my being everywhere in all directions to perform the perfect work of God and to return to me with all the divine love which I am sending forth. I am the light of the heart by Saint Germain. When we give this decree we are affirming that the light of our heart is shining in the dark places of our being which are not occupied by our soul. When we project love into the world to erase all errors, that love is erasing, first and foremost, the errors of our own soul. And we are breaking down the barriers to the retrieval of the components of our soul. The key is love, and love is another word for peace. I am the power of infinite love, amplifying itself until it is victorious, world without end. Thus we affirm that divine love is amplified within us until we are victorious in gathering the lost fragments of self that we allowed someone to steal from us, or because we simply gave them away because we did not feel worthy of having them. You can think of these fragments as partial reflections, each fragment reflecting a portion of yourself. It cannot reflect the whole because it is not yet whole. It is just a fragment. It is as if you took a large photograph of yourself and tore it up into 40 pieces. Each one would still be you and a reflection of yourself, but only a fragment. Visualize the light in your heart, an intense white fire, as you give Saint Germain's decree, which he wrote for you and your soul. I am the light of the heart, nine times. <clears throat> Together. I am the light of the heart, shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasury of the mind of Christ. I am projecting my love out into the world to erase all errors and break down all barriers. I am the 
the power of infinite love and the thine itself until it is victorious world without end. I am the light of the heart, shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasure of the mind of Christ. I am rejecting my love out into the world to erase all errors and break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the thine itself until it is victorious world without end. I am the light of the heart, shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasure of the mind of Christ. I am rejecting my love out into the world to erase all errors and break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the thine itself until it is victorious world without end. I am the light of the heart, shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasure of the mind of Christ. I am rejecting my love out into the world to erase all errors and break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the fighting itself until it is victorious. I am the light of the heart, shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasure. <laughs> All errors and break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the divine itself until it is victorious world without end. I am the light of our shining and I'm the main and gaining all the golden victory of the mind of Christ. I am rejecting my love out into the world and raise all errors and break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the divine itself until it is victorious world without end. I am the light of our shining and I'm the main and gaining all the golden victory of the mind of Christ. I am rejecting my love out into the world where he's all ready to break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the divine itself. I am the light of our heart, shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasure of the mind of Christ. I am rejecting my love out into the world where he's all ready to break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and the divine itself and the victorious world without end. I am the light of our shining in the darkness of being and changing all into the golden treasure of the mind of Christ. I am rejecting my love out into the world to erase all errors and break down all barriers. I am the power of infinite love and divine itself and it is victorious world without end. Next, let's take the count to nine decree by the Ascended Master Cusco. <clears throat> Cusco gave us this decree because he saw the day when we would be assembled here and we would desire with all of our hearts never to be angry again and yet we still would be angry again because we have not resolved all of the issues of our psychology or perhaps we haven't fought the good fight hard enough against the Martian A's, whatever it may be. The Count to Nine Decree simply says, before you open your mouth, and say something you will regret, count to nine. Just button your lips, excuse yourself from the meeting you're in, excuse yourself from wherever you are. Go out, get some fresh air, take another look at the situation you're in, get the Holy Spirit in your lungs, establish the peace, and do the count to nine decree. Do it three or nine times. You can circumvent the building you're having a meeting in. You can make calls for all the people involved. Don't allow yourself to be trounced by the sinister force where you open your mouth before you have established the, the flame of peace in your world. It's good to do this walking. Do it alone till you get to the place where you are God-centered. You are stealing your feeling world with this decree. The feeling world will be triggered by the mind that gets agitated. You are sealing your energies and you are promising Cusco that you will keep the energy that he gives you through this decree. <clears throat> I mentioned at the summer conference that we make an awful lot of karma with our mouths misusing the throat chakra, saying things we would wish we had not said, and so on and so forth. It's probably the most misused chakra of all of them. If you count up how many words you've said negatively, how many things you've said disparagingly or with criticism and so forth. So I suggest that you do periodic voice fasts where you have a little something 
pinned to your shirt that says voice fast. Carry around a little board that you can erase. Write your messages down. Don't talk for a day. Give yourself that discipline. See how much energy you have at the rest of the day that you used to spend on talking. You have to find the way to skin your cat. Whatever works for you, do it. But skin the cat. You've got to skin the cat. Okay, let's do it here with a count to nine decree <clears throat> together. In the name of the beloved, mighty, victorious presence of God, I am in me. My very own beloved, holy Christ self. Beloved Archangel Michael, Prince Aramis, mighty Estrella, Goddess of Light, Beloved Ascended Master Cusco, Beloved Manello, the entire spirit of the great white brother and the world mother, Element of Light, Fire, Air, Water, and Earth, I decree. Listen to the wonderful rhythm of this decree together. Come now, by love divine, guard thou this soul of mine. May now my world all thine, God's light around me shine. I count one, it is done, O feeling world be still. Two and three, I am free, peace, it is God's will. I count four, I do adore my presence all divine. Five and six, O God, fix my gaze on thee sublime. I count seven, come, O heaven, my energies take hold. Eight and nine, completely thine, my mental world enfold. The white fire light now encircles me, all riptides are rejected. With God's own might around me bright, I am thy love protected. Come now, thy love divine, guard thou this soul of mine. Make now my world all thine, God's light around me shine. I count one, it is done, O feeling world, be still. Two and three, I am free, peace, it is God's will. I count four, I do adore my presence all divine. Five and six, O God, affix my gaze on thee sublime. I count seven, come, O heaven, my energies take hold. Eight and nine, completely thy, my mental world unfold. The white firelight now encircles me, all riptides are rejected. With God's own mind around me bright, I am thy love protected. Come now, thy love divine, guard thou this soul of mine. Make now my world all thine, God's light around me shine. I count one, it is done, O feeling world be still. Two and three, I am free, peace, it is God's will. I count four, I do adore my presence all divine. Five and six, O oh God, fix my gaze on thee sublime. I count seven, come, O oh heaven, my energies take hold. Eight and nine, completely thine, my mental world unfold. The white firelight now encircles me, all riptides are rejected. With God's own light around me bright, I am thy love protected. With this very intense type of decreeing, you set a strong force field. You just built a house with these words. You built a wonderful house where you are secure and in control of your energies. The house is built. We need to ignite the flame in the fireplace. <clears throat> so we will take this more quickly. Please listen to my rhythm. Come now, my love divine, go now, my soul of mine, make now my world of mine, God's light around me shine. I am one, it is not only thing, will be still. Do with me, I am a peace, it is not will. I am the right, it is my time, my presence is not divine. Five and six, I'm gonna fix my gaze, I'm easy to find. I am seven, come away with my energy, they go. Eight and nine, I'm in peace, I'm in the world, I'm low. I wait for a light, I'm not gonna be all, I'm not gonna reject it. With God's own light around me, but I am my number, I did. Come now, my love divine.
blazing fire in the fireplace. It's a violet flame fire. All the while we say the next round of three decrees, you are casting into the fire. Everything that's not of God, everything that has stopped you from winning in this life, throw it into that fire. So this fire now is going to not only consume what you put into it, but it's going to expand and lovingly enfold you. So you have a violet flame fire throughout the house. And the elementals and the angels of the violet flame are caressing you, bathing you, consuming, bringing you to alignment, and giving you such eternal peace that you can go back to anyone, anywhere, any place and be the ultimate peacemaker because you have the peace of God in your heart through the violet flame. <clears throat> Together. <laughs> Your Holy Christ Self has a message for you. And that message is, you do not only use the count to nine decree to control anger. You use the count to nine decree to get yourself in alignment, to make the decision that you will be obedient to the directive of your Holy Christ Self. You use the count to nine decree so that you do not act in haste. You are not thoughtful. You do not consider all of the ramifications of your actions to others and the rippling effect throughout the planet. So count to nine brings God control of the mind to think logically and unemotionally, unemotionally but perceptibly perceptively. So use this decree if you feel out of sorts, if you can't make a decision, if you don't know which road to take. Use the count to nine decree. Visualize the house you build with the first three, the, the fire in the fireplace, and then the violet flame caressing your entire being. You need never make a mistake. If you use the count to nine decree, and appeal to your Holy Christ Self for guidance. Here we come to the great Central Sun Magnet Invocation, Decree 008 by Surya and Cusco. 
You can think of the great central sun magnet as the Tai Chi of Alpha and Omega, a tremendous sphere of energy which I think touches every cell and atom of every body, physical body, other bodies, all beings in the universe. I think we are all connected through the crisscrossing lines, the filigree lines that pass through the great central sun magnet in the great central sun. It's through that great magnet that we magnetize back to ourselves, ourselves, the fullness of our souls. I'm going to make an invocation before we give the decree. Please stand. <clears throat> Beloved Alpha and Omega in the great central sun and in the great central sun magnet and Elohim of God, hear our call and answer. We call to the great central sun magnet to magnetize into our hearts now and into the seat of the soul chakra all components of being, all elements of selfhood we have denied or set aside or buried or invested in another. Unlawfully, we call now for perfect healing and the healing thought form around us. We call for the mighty dispensation and we call the sheep that have gone astray and been scattered to come home. And we leave the ninety and nine and we gather each one, one by one, till all are whole, till all are home. We call now to the mighty shepherd, our holy Christ self, to lead the sheep of the fragments of our soul back to the heart, back to the seat of the soul chakra. We call for this, and in abject humility and profound prayer, we ask for the transmutation through St. Germain's heart meditations of all elements of being that have kept components of self away from the vortex of our true being. Let that vortex begin now as the fire enfolding itself. I call for the rings of victory of Jesus Christ. I call for the rings of Estrella, yellow, white, and blue. Now begin to turn as though the great cosmos itself were turning, O oh God. Therefore, let there be the fire enfolding itself. And let all components of the soul now be taken up and drawn together and brought into the very center of our being. We call for this and we send forth a perpetual prayer that is this action of Alpha and Omega of Almighty God might continue until we are truly whole. Heal us, O God, of our fragmentation and forgive us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother, we now compel the great central sun magnet. Let us give this decree 0 0.08 once. Together. O oh Lord God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, I call to thee in the name of the Christed ones, in the name of Jesus the Christ and Mother, in the name of Saint Germain, I call to thee in the name of the great divine director, in the name of Syrian Cusco and mighty cosmos, the seven mighty Elohim and seven beloved archangels, and the seven beloved Chowan of the rays. And I say in the name of the Father, and of the Mother, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, seal the ark of contact between my heart and thine own. O Lord God Almighty, seal the ark of the contact, seal the ark of the contact. And now let flow the coils of Alpha and Omega, the spirals of the great central sun magnet, and let me receive as I am able, as my chalice is stable and worthy to receive these energies, winding about the coil of being, manifesting the magnet of the sun. O Alpha and Omega, let me be thyself in my hair. Let me be a focus of the magnet of the great central sun. In the name of the Christ within me and my own beloved, I am that I am. In the name of the Holy Spirit and the flame that blazes upon the altar of my heart. In the name of the sacred fire breath, I call for the action of the great central sun magnet to demagnetize these planes of matter of the energy veil. I call for the transmutation of all human karma. I call for the transmutation of the karma of the dark cycle by the action of the great central sun magnet, which I am. I call for the balancing of life in the four planes of consciousness and in my four lower bodies. I call for the seed of life that is the blueprint of my ascension. 
This which I call forth for myself, I call forth for all mankind, and the elemental kingdom and the angelic hosts, and let this invocation be according to the mathematics of the will of God, as above, so below. Let it be sealed in the name of the Father, and of the Mother, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please be seated. As you will read about in the bound volumes of Pearls of Wisdom on Kabbalah, you will read about the soul and the liberating of the sparks of light. So El Moria has directed me to make calls to liberate the sparks of God's light that are scattered throughout the world. The Jewish mystical tradition known as Kabbalah names two kinds of sparks that need to be liberated. One, the sparks of light that fell when the vessels of the spherode broke. These sparks have been trapped among the husks and they give life and power to evil. We must rescue them so that they will not empower evil. Two, the sparks or souls that were once a part of Adam's soul, including our own soul, which must be raised up and restored to their original state of perfection. I'm going to give an invocation now. And please close your books. <clears throat> In the name of the light of God that never fails, I call to the heart of Ain Sof. I call to the heart of Ain Sof. I call to the heart of Ain Sof. I call now for the sparks of light that fell when the vessels of the sphere out broke to be cut free from their entrapment among the husks, whereby they give life and power to evil. Vajra! 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 Bolt of lightning, cut free the entrapped sparks. Bolt of lightning, cut them free. By the power of the great central sun magnet, beloved Alpha and Omega, draw those back to thee. Draw the sparks back to thee. Draw the sparks back to thee. Blaze, O lightning crew. We are in the matter cosmos, so God, in the name of Elohim, we therefore call for all fragments of light which were once a part of God to be retrieved now by the great central sun magnet back to the heart of Alpha and Omega, by the power of Elohim archangels and the entire spirit of the great white brotherhood. Let those focuses of light be redeemed. Let them be cut free. Where they are bound, we ask it in the name of the cosmic Christ, and we accept it done this hour in full power. Amen. I call now to Ain Sof, I call to Ain Sof, I call to Ain Sof. I call to the mighty causal body of Adam. I call for the sparks or souls were once a part of Adam's soul, including our own souls to be raised up and restored to their original state of perfection. And I call for the raising up and the perfecting of the souls that belong to our personal soul families. By the power of mighty cosmos secret rays, I call for this restoration universally throughout the matter cosmos. Vajra, 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 Vajra. Now we crystallize the work that we have done by singing the Seraphic med Meditations, Song 302A. The Seraphim have been attending you throughout this soul retrieval. Internalize the great love and healing of the Seraphim as they are with you to retrieve all elements of your soul. Are you ready to sing with us? Okay. 
Let us sound the Om and send it to the great central sun and the great central sun magnet together. know all the words to this song but it is best that you meditate rather than having it to you have your conscious mind read them instead of entering into the experience of one who entered into the seraphic meditations remember that the seat of the soul chakra is midpoint between the navel and the base of the spine you can take your hands in your lap and put your hands and create a cradle out of them and cradle your soul. It's interesting that it is a very comfortable place for our hands. They seem to reach for the soul automatically. So we will call individually in our hearts to the seraphim to heal our soul in all aspects of her being. And you can alternately sing. There are interludes of measures where you can be quietly whispering your calls. Some of you may wish to take a turn at kneeling at the altar. You're welcome to do that. Two minutes should be enough because others might wish to be at the altar kneeling. And understand that there is a cosmos that is made up of God and all God-free beings and all angels and masters and that their deep desire is for us to find our wholeness. Let us call to the seraphim now to assist us this day to take another step, another step toward the healing of our being. And we accept our total healing, our Father, Mother, God. For it does not take time, it simply takes our acceptance of ourselves in God.
Became a war. 